from protection to prevention. Um, and the launch of this report will happen in a couple of weeks time at the end of the month on the 30th of April. And you can see the link to that launch on the screen there. And we have shared it with the Rise Network. Essentially, uh, the launch will cover seven practical mechanisms for how the cooperative and mutual insurance sector can really drive risk reduction with a focus on the prevention. It's based on an analysis of 20 case studies from ICMIF members around the world. And the mechanisms provide a practical way for the cooperative and mutual insurance sector to implement the Sendai framework for disaster risk reduction. And the mechanisms are also meant to support the implementation of the Sustainable Development Goals and the Paris Climate Agreement. So you're all very warmly welcome to join that launch where you can see and hear more about that report. And crucially, as well, during the webinar, you'll hear about the first pilot projects from ICMIF members who were working in collaboration with UNDR to put those mechanisms into place. If we could have the next slide, please. In the forthcoming report, you will hear about those seven mechanisms, which are including both direct mechanisms relating to the use of insurance pricing, prerequisites and impact investment to really incentivize risk reduction, but also you'll hear about indirect mechanisms. So that's providing ways that insurance providers can really raise awareness of the systemic nature of, of risk, as well as building capacity for DRR and leveraging social capital for innovation and collaborating with the public sector. So for the purposes of time, I would like to end there and I will pass over to the next slide. And with that, I'd like to pass over to Mr. Michael Relos who represents the Philippines Insurers and Reinsurers Association, PIRA. Over Thank to you, Sarah. Michael. Madam Mary Mitsutori, Madam Martha Herrera, Arise and UNDRR colleagues, greetings from Arise Philippines, and thank you for having us. The primordial role of insurance is in asset protection, where the person who suffers a loss is indemnified to allow him to recover and rise after the loss event with the least disturbance. However, it has been recognized that the insurance sector can go way beyond its traditional role and help in other areas such as risk mitigation by way of creating awareness and finding new ways of utilizing its formidable resources, both capital and knowledge, in our disaster risk efforts. Allow me then to share the initiatives that the Philippine Insurers and Reinsurers Association, which is the country's umbrella organization, policy-making body and voice of the non-light industry, and a member of Arise Philippines, uh, are currently undertaking with various bodies such as the World Bank, the Asian Development Bank, the GIZ, or the German Society for International Cooperation, and Earth Security an NGO focused on research and strategic action have undertaken in the Philippines. I've summarized the various initiatives in the table that you see on the screen and shall briefly discuss each one. Currently, it is only the government through its fully owned Philippine Crop Insurance Corporation that is able to offer crop insurance in its various forms to farmers resulting in a less than desirable penetration rate, which is about less than 10%. In this regard, we are trying to get the private sector involved and interested to write this class of insurance. We note, however, that most, if not all, agriculture insurance programs around the world are heavily subsidized, and local laws in the Philippines only allow government or its agencies to receive proceeds that are subsidized. This then prevents private sector insurers from writing such programs directly. In an effort to familiarize ourselves with the risks involved and to develop our underwriting capacity and experience, we have agreed to reinsure a portion of the risks that the PCIC is currently writing, thereby adding to our capacity to theirs until the laws governing agri-insurance are repealed or amended, or another solution found. On the second, a parametric product for MSMEs, 
the GIZ, together with PIRA, has undertaken to create a parametric micro-insurance product for MSMEs in the Philippines. And they are amongst the underserved and least protected of the populace. The triggers for this parametric product would be heavy rainfall and or windstorm. We have identified a couple of insurers who are able and willing to take this on as a prototype. And we plan to hopefully launch it by early next year. On the third one, uh, the Philippine Catastrophe Insurance Facility. As you all well know, the Philippines faces some of the highest climate and disaster related risks in the world. Yet having a relatively low penetration of climate and disaster risk insurance. Recognizing that a systemic multi-sectoral collaboration is needed to address this insurance gap. The Insurance Commission, with the assistance of the World Bank and in collaboration with PIRA as the private sector partners, have entered into a memorandum of understanding to formalize the creation of the Philippine Catastrophe Insurance Facility. The MOU aims to increase Philippine financial resilience towards natural disasters, to hasten economic recovery after the disaster strikes, address the cap insurance gaps, create a more risk-appropriate rating environment that in turn would ensure sustainable premium rates and coverages, and to increase the cap resilience of the local insurance industry and its capacity to retain such risks. And finally, to be able to provide a populace with a more inclusive access to catastrophic insurance protection. We are currently in the inception phase, but I'm happy to report that in a survey conducted last month, an overwhelming majority of the industry has agreed to support its creation and development. A TWG has been created and is now in the process of fleshing out the program. And with the grace of the Almighty, we aim to launch this by the same time next year. And finally, PIRA, together with Earth Security, in a project funded by the German government through its International Climate Initiative, is collaborating with other institutions, such as the Asian Institute of Management, Business for Sustainable Development, and the Philippine Climate Change Commission, to create platforms and private sector partnerships to support nature-based climate solutions for adaptation. Our focus is to capitalize models and partnerships for insurance to support nature-based climate solutions for adaptation. We are launching a research to develop a methodology and to demonstrate the risk reduction benefits of an ecosystem, for example, mangroves, coral reefs, seagrass meadows, etc. in a manner and format where the value can be integrated into catastrophe models currently being used by the insurance industry. The results will then dictate our next steps and this project phase will end in September next year. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. These some of the various initiatives that we are involved in with the end in mind of reducing and addressing disaster risks in the Philippines. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Rolosa, for that excellent presentation and, and really insight from the Arise Philippines uh, work. It's really fascinating uh, work. Thank you again. Thank uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Rolosa. Now we will move on to